Hi everyone, today in this video let us see one of the iconic global brands marketing strategies. The Coca-Cola company announced the launch of the One Brand Approach, which extends the global equity and iconic appeal of original Coca-Cola, and this strategy is designed in such a way to enable consumers to choose whichever Coca-Cola suits them, whether it can be their taste, lifestyle or diet. In support of this new strategy, the Coca-Cola company unveiled Taste the Feeling campaign, which is now live in almost 195 markets and includes 12 television commercials. Today in this case study we are going to discuss the Coca-Cola's new one brand global marketing strategy, which for the first time ever, united original Coca-Cola, Diet Coke, Coca-Cola Zero, and Coca-Cola Life under the iconic Coca-Cola Master brand as part of one global creative campaign, which is Taste the Feeling campaign. Now, before moving to this video, I would like to make a small request to you, if you like this content, please like this video and share your views in the comment, it would indicate to me that I should continue to make more such kind of videos, and at the same time your feedback will help me to improve the quality of the content. Also don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel, in order to get unlimited free access to my case study videos archive. Moreover, I have given some case study links and study materials in the description of this video. With that being said, let me take you into the detailed view of this case study. In 2016, Coca-Cola launched their global strategy known as One Brand, which unites all of Coca-Cola's Coke products under one global strategy, called Taste the Feeling. This change came at a time when global carbonated soft drink makers were being challenged by increasing awareness of health concerns, and taxation on sugar-sweetened drinks, these are the factors that deterred consumers from purchasing soda. Since the start of the millennium, Coca-Cola and other soda drinks had found themselves becoming increasingly unpopular with people pointing to them, as one of the causes of the rising obesity rates in the UK and the US. The rising health concerns among consumers had led to a continuous decline in soda consumption in some key global markets as well. So the idea behind Coke's move was to help control over consumption of sugar, as the main purpose of this new strategy is to simplify the customer purchasing decision, by clearly associating its more popular brands with its less popular brands through packaging. Coca-Cola believes this new strategy will help people to more easily identify and also, encourage them to choose no sugar drink options such as Coca-Cola Zero Sugar. This is an important strategic move for the brand to boost no sugar drinks. Coca-Cola replaced its long-running Open Happiness campaign with a new Taste the Feeling campaign. The Open Happiness campaign was the result of a six-month initiative known as Project Next. This initiative was undertaken to improve the efficiency of Coca-Cola's marketing strategies. The theme of this campaign was, open, share and enjoy a bottle of Coke. This campaign was used as a primary marketing platform in nearly 200 countries wherever Coke was sold globally. Coke was the central theme of all these commercials and its campaigns were tweaked for different markets depending on local people's preferences. Now under its new global strategy of one brand, Coca-Cola replaced its brand-focused Open Happiness campaign with a new global marketing campaign Taste the Feeling. In Taste the Feeling campaign the product rather than the brand, was the main focus. Taste the Feeling campaign brings to life that drinking a Coca-Cola, any variant of Coke for that matter, is a simple pleasure that makes everyday moments more special. For many years, Coke has managed each of its drinks as separate brands, each with its own communication campaign, brand idea, slogan and tone. Actually, this approach fragmented Coke's money and talent over four different products, but at the end of the day, these are just different types of cola. Whereas, under its new strategy Coke reinforces that Coca-Cola is for everybody. People want their Coca-Cola in different ways, but whichever one they want, they want a Coca-Cola brand with great taste and refreshment. The strategy of generating sub-brands, rather than variants, has created distortions in the main brand. The different brands have sometimes contradicted the personality of Coca-Cola. 
Creating brands for different people with different personalities completely undermines the fundamental Coca-Cola brand promise. Whereas, this new strategy makes Coca-Cola as one brand with different variants, all of which share the same values and visual iconography. By refocusing on the master brand, with Red Coke as the hero product, Coca-Cola is just following the money. Coke and Diet Coke alone accounts for about 90% of the business in the UK, whereas Coke Zero has struggled to get close to the objective set at launch, which was to become as big as Diet Coke. And the other variant Coca-Cola life is very small at the moment. Coke's one brand strategy helps them to refocus on the core brand, in order to deliver a better ROI, because the amount spent on the marketing budget should be a lot lesser with this new strategy. According to the company, Taste the Feeling campaign showed green shoots, having led to a growth in retail sales as well as a rise in the profile of the Coca-Cola brand. In North America, Coca-Cola's net revenues grew 8% for the fourth quarter 2016 and 4% for the year, outperforming total retail value growth for both the North America non-alcoholic ready-to-drink beverage industry and U.S. consumer packaged goods companies. Thank you so much for listening to this video, I hope this video might be informative for you. If you find this video useful, I would request you to like this video, and please do share your feedback regarding this video in the comment. It would mean a lot to me. Last but not the least, as mentioned earlier do not forget to subscribe this YouTube channel for receiving updates about my upcoming case study videos. You can also write in the comment, if you would like me to make videos regarding any specific case studies that you have in your mind. Meanwhile, you can also have a check on my 5 minutes learning YouTube channel for getting access to hundreds of case study videos. Thanks a lot again, see you soon with another interesting case study video.